Hey guys, this is Eli, and welcome to my new series on the video game Polybridge. Now, I know this game's been out for about a year, but this is the first time I've ever seen it. It just popped up on my Steam store, and I had to download it because I love this kind of game. I used to play, I think it was called Bridge Builder, about 10, maybe 15 years ago. I think it was probably one of the first kind of like bridge building type games where typically you have to get something from A to B by building a bridge between the river. And uh, it's kind of like, it, they're not necessarily trying to be realistic bridge Bridges. You can do some kind of quirky designs that, you know, it doesn't need to be perfect. And that's why I kind of like it, is you can have things like jumps and ramps and just do crazy designs to get things along. Uh, also reminds me of the game Armadillo Run. I love that game. Really good game. And it's the same concept as you just have to get something from A to B. But I really wanted to make a series out of this game just to see how it goes and see if you guys enjoy it. So do let me know if you're enjoying it down in the comments section. Uh, but I believe it's by by a small indie, indie studio called Dry Cactus. Um, I don't know if they've made anything else or not. They don't really have a website up and running, so uh, I can't really tell you much about that, but uh, I really love the graphic style they've chosen. They've gone for this kind of like polygon theme, which I guess ties in with the name Polybridge, so I guess it's quite clever in that sense. Um, I think these sheep just look adorable. I really like that. And it reminds me of, I think it's the game Monument Valley that was on the App Store in a really good game, so it's nice that people are trying out this um, polygon style graphics, you know, really good to see. Um, I've already gone and done the tutorials just to try and kind of educate myself on how to play the game, but I, this is the furthest I've got, so I have no idea how to play from now on. Uh, I don't really know what to expect, so let's just go ahead and take a look. Um, I'm guessing the first ones are going to be fairly easy, so, uh, you know, they're probably going to be a little bit boring to watch, but yeah, it's probably just going to be straight lines for a while. Um, I don't know much about structural engineering. Uh, I don't have a structural engineering degree. Um, I do have a physics degree, however, so it may actually come in handy with this, but uh, maybe not because, you know, this isn't really too much physics. Um, I don't... I don't... Don't even know if it's gonna make any difference whatsoever. Um, I think the one thing I do vaguely remember is the kind of arches are really important. So doing any kind of archway, you know, where we say this is the arch underneath, I think that means things become stronger. And then typically we wanna do these triangles and I think the bigger the triangle, the stronger things are. Um, so I think so. Let's go ahead and try this just to see how this goes. We're under budget anyway, so yeah, that looks like a, a dead easy one. I think we just had lightning outside. Jeez, all the lights just went off. That was a bit freaky. Um, I don't know if the video is still working. It looks like it is, but definitely something going on outside right now. Anyway, yeah, so we managed to... Yeah, that one's not too bad. I guess we're not exactly low down in the scoreboard, but... I, I guess there's so many people playing this game that we're never gonna get that far down. I hope we're not at the bottom though. I don't know. Um, what do we have here? Budget, max joint stress, material footprint. So I guess the most important is probably the budget. We want to try and get this as low as possible. I guess the problem with max joint stress is the lower we take the budget, this is probably gonna be higher. So I guess it doesn't really matter too much. And then material footprint again will be higher when the budget's higher. Um, I guess we want all three to be low, but it's not really gonna ever work out like that, is it? Let's try the next level. See what we have to do. Okay, so we got 8,000 this time and we're gonna build it out wood. So yeah, let's just go for another straight line. Um, we do have a pivot point down here, not pivot point, an anchor. Um, I think this is probably gonna be a bit of a red herring because I think we could you know, we don't necessarily need to use that. I think we could just get away with uh, kind of doing it without. Let's just see if this works. I mean, we could use it, but I think it's going to cost more, and I don't think it's necessarily needed. Is that going to work? That looks a bit kind of lopsided there. Let's move that one. Let's give that a try. I think that's going to... Ooh, okay, maybe not. Uh, we could probably just make this bigger. I think that would probably help. And we could again do the archway because we don't actually need too much strength on the ends. Just see how that goes. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it works, it works. Yeah, that was definitely a red herring. We don't actually need that at all. Um, not too bad. 
We're certainly in the lower half anyway. Um, this was probably not very good. Apparently a lot of people have got way down there, but I'm sure those are the same people that have done that. So I'm kind of proud with that. Um, let's see what to do next. Okay, so A1, I'm guessing, goes first. A2 will go second. So... Same concept, straight bridge. They're all kind of a bit dull right now, but I'm guessing they're gonna get very exciting fairly soon. So let's see how that goes. I think that's probably gonna be way too much. Like that's gonna be a really strong bridge. I don't think we're gonna need. Yeah, I could probably reduce the weight of that a bit. So, you know, that didn't even show anything. Um, I'm not gonna bother though, cause it's so early on in the game that there's pretty much no point to try and perfect things now. I think later on, I'm certainly gonna try and play a bit harder. Okay, I wanna get a straight line there. So can I do that? Does that work? Let's see if this, that, I mean, I presume that's fine. I presume that's gonna be pretty sturdy. Mm. <laughs> I think we need to make them a bit bigger. Um, that's certainly bigger triangles equals stronger bridge. So let's give that a try. See how that goes. Yeah, I do. I wonder what would happen if you move this below. Like, does that really make a difference? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, twelve thousand. We're certainly not doing as good as we were before. Um, okay, so we got two bridges now. Again, I think that's probably another red herring. I don't think we necessarily need that. Let's just go ahead and do a straight line along here. Now, the one thing I will say about this game is I don't know if it's just my computer acting up today, but my graphics card was running really hot earlier, so I have no idea if this is being optimized or if this is... It doesn't seem like it should be a very graphics-intensive game. I guess the physics is probably could be intensive, but it's only really doing a couple calculations per point, so maybe not. Maybe it was just my graphics card going a bit crazy, but uh, I have no idea. Let's just um, continue building this to see how this goes. Right, I believe you can actually turn the grid off, and I think that makes it a bit easier to place things around. Yeah, I think I like that better. I mean, it's not going to be as mathematical, but you know, we're not really too concerned about things looking great just now. Right, this probably has to be a bit stronger, I would imagine. Um... Yeah, we want nice bow shapes. I believe bow shapes are probably the best for structural integrity. So, geez, that sounded very Star Trek there. I love it. <laughs> Let's give that a try. Okay, so here we're, we can actually compare what it looks like when you have one below and one above. So, the one above does actually look like it's a bit stronger, but I don't know if that's just the way I built it. This tree looks incredible, by the way. I really love that tree. Um, okay, not too bad, 4,000. So we, we spent just over 10,500 and we had a budget of 18,000. So I think we did pretty good then. Uh, let's go ahead and try. Okay, so this is the first one with the boat. It looks like we don't have any kind of hydraulics or anything. So I guess for this one, we're just gonna have to keep our bridge shape the way it should be. So let's just continue with this. Oh, it's not long enough. That's really frustrating. Gonna have to try, oh, that's gonna really annoy me now because we're gonna have to move all these over. This is definitely not gonna be a very even bridge. Okay, so we can use this. Is that gonna reach? Yes, perfect. Right, I think that's looking not too bad. Um, I think we could probably shorten this a bit because I don't think this bit necessarily needs to be that strong, so. Let's see if I can move this a bit. I think straight lines are probably good as well. See how I've managed to get these kind of straight lines up. And I think that kind of distributes the load directly into these things so that they're gonna compress and then rather than like be snapped, if that makes any sense. Let's give that a try. So we're definitely under budget here. Um, yep, that's good. I think we could, yeah, we can actually rotate this, perfect. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Really cool looking like 80s or 90s cars. Kind of reminds me of being a kid. Uh, there we go. I think that actually that red car, I'm pretty sure my parents own one. I'd say we did really well then, like 2,000. I don't know how many people are on this scoreboard, but I think we probably did really good. I mean, yeah, we must have. Look, material footprint, that's fantastic. That's really good. Okay, I'm very proud of my design then, and it was 
it was effortless. You know, it didn't really show much strain at all. Okay, I believe this five means that we can only place down five roads. Okay, so this is gonna be a jump one. Yeah, what was the, I just completely skipped that. Simple jump, I'm really bad for skipping these screens. I usually just take away and like, ignore it. Okay, so we're gonna have to build a ramp then for these guys. So, can we do it all in one? Let's see if we can do this. Let's do three there. Okay. Right, let's play. See what happens. Yeah, that's much sturdier now. Okay. Whee! <laughs> that's brilliant. Alright, so let's watch that one more time because I just missed it. So the bike actually makes it. The car needs a little bit of bridge. I think it just needs one road. So I wonder if we can just actually do... I don't even think it needs to be that long. We can probably take it like that. The problem is I think when the car hits this, it's gonna really smack down on this. It could potentially break it. So let's just see what happens. Might need to just kind of play around angling that. Oh, okay, that's gotta be longer. That's gotta be much longer. Right, let's see if that works. Okay. So we got a nice straight line there, so the load should be distributed evenly down that. There might be a lot of tension on this though, let's see if this works. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we got one more road to play with, let's give that a try. Do that there, we need a, another wooden strut there. I think I'm gonna have to change this because that's gonna, we need our straight line again, so we're gonna have to do it like that. Yeah, let's try that. I feel like that's not gonna work, but I might be wrong. So the bike seems to make it without doing any damage. Did that work? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're not exactly that low down on the scoreboard, but I think I'm gonna take that. We're under budget anyway, so. Max joint stress, we're definitely not gonna win any awards for this one, I think. Let's uh, Let's move on. Okay, so we got A, which is the car, B, which is the boat, C, which is the big car, the car from the 80s. Um, we have some rope and we have some steel. So I think this is gonna have to be an archway bridge again because we don't have any hydraulics. So I guess this is gonna have to look like this. Yeah. Okay, it's not very even, but I'm okay with that. And I can maybe tidy this bit up here. I kind of wish these were a bit more symmetrical, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, okay, so we got pivot, uh, not pivot, I don't know why I keep on saying pivot, and um, we have a anchor there, anchor there, so let's just see what happens. This may not work at all, I have no idea, but that doesn't look like it's gonna stay. Is this gonna work? That does actually work. Wow, I wasn't expecting that to work. Is this gonna work? I mean, we are under budget, so oh, we were close to the budget, so it probably might do. See what happens when we get the big 80s sports car going over. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it looks like it might just need a bit of reinforcement at the top, so we might actually be able to just put some support beams here. See if this works now. We're about 3,000 on a budget, so okay, that doesn't look too bad. Our little sports car makes it fantastic. We do have a bit of stress here, but it's not so bad. Boat's gonna make it, yes, perfect. And let's keep an eye on all the stress levels for this sports car. Right, so we got a bit of tension up there. Ooh, that was on this side, I think. Um, I wonder, what if we were to take this rope out, take this rope out, and we were to put some, I don't want rope, I want more wood. We'll do some more wood along here. Um, just to strengthen this, and then we can attach some rope to this part here. So let's see if that's gonna work. Right, here we go. Here we go, come on. Oh! Okay, so I've taken out these ropes just to see what will happen here. So these points are no longer held together. 
it doesn't seem to make any difference, but we, you know, we're saving a lot of money, so I'm not too sure if these ropes are actually needed. I wonder what would happen if I just took out this whole thing and just stuck to wood and an archway. Am I being completely stupid thinking this might work? I mean, I know in kind of building, people love doing archways because they kind of sustain their own weight because of the arch shape, so... Is this gonna work, or...? I don't know. I feel like this might need to be a bit stronger, though. Um... Yeah, let's take these up a bit. <laughs> is this gonna work? Seems fairly stable. And look at our budget, like, we're at 10,000 now, so... We've saved a lot of money. Yeah, that's perfect! Look at that! I think I'll call that a win, like, 629 out of potentially thousands. Material footprint, oh yeah, saving the planet, and that was not too bad. So basically the moral of the story is arches are awesome. Just always build archways because I think they sustain themselves, you know, the weight seems to distribute evenly. Um, it's probably some known law or something, I don't know. I'm sure a structural engineer will be able to tell me. Um, okay, what do we have here? A drawbridge. Okay, so this is the first one where we have to use these hydraulics. So I guess we want to, let's put on the grid for this one. We want to do straight line with the road. Okay, so I have to set these to expand. So let's do 50% because I think we're going to have to push them quite far. Let's see what happens here. I think we could probably actually move these a bit up because we're not going to need too much strength there. These might want to come down a bit. See how that goes. So you see we kind of mimic this arch shape here. So that should give it strength. I think I Hope let's see what happens here. Okay. That looks good. That looks really good. I still have this on 200% by the way. I need to turn this down to a hundred. Okay. Is this gonna work? Perfect that was th that was flawless that was flawless. Yeah, that couldn't have gone better so our budget, we did really well. We did really well, I'll take that. Definitely take that. Material footprint, again, saving the planet. Joint stress, I uh, don't really care too much. I think we did fine. Um, 1,100 out of potentially thousands, I'd say we did pretty good as well. So let's go ahead and move on. All right, so some levels will require you to go through checkpoints before you can collect the flag. Regular checkpoint, a stop checkpoint, the vehicle stop, and reverse checkpoint will make the vehicle stop and then reverse its direction when it wants to start again. I don't know why any vehicle would ever want to do that on a bridge. I'm pretty sure that would be illegal to reverse down a bridge, so I don't know what they're thinking here. But let's see what happens anyway. Okay, so I guess in this one it's we just need to do a slope upwards, so I don't think it's gonna be too difficult this one. This looks identical, so we can probably actually just build something on this side and then we can mirror it. That should be fairly strong, I think? Let's just test it. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, so... I think we're gonna need some more supports above. We need something connected to this anchor point here. So we could potentially just do a little bit. If I, if I take this part out, because I think this is the weak part. Um, if we just give this bit strength from that side, let's see what happens if I do this. I feel like that might sag down too much. Ooh. Okay, that works, that works. So if we just copy this, uh, again, it's the right click. It feels like I should do a left click drag. Right, the C key for copy. We want to flip, which is the F key. And perfect. So we're definitely under budget here. Let's see how this goes. This should be, this should be fine because, although we do seem to be getting a lot of stress there. Why are we getting a lot of stress there? That was identical. I don't know why that didn't work. I'm missing a point, aren't I? Why am I missing a point? Did I not copy that? I okay, that's why. That's why. I I don't even. How did that not copy? <laughs> is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, I was just being an idiot before. Okay, that is perfect. That is really good. I I don't know if I'm like 
am I really good at this game? Or is this normal? Is this what other people get? Or am I just like, is it my physics degree? Is it helping? Is it, I don't know. With Material Footprint, again, we're doing really good. So I don't know how many people play this game, but we seem to be doing not too bad at all. Um, see if we can keep an eye on some of these people just in case we see them again. So let's keep an eye on Rich Homie Quan. Sounds extremely posh. He's like a posh homie. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I don't even know what level this is. It doesn't seem to... Does it tell you in this? Yeah, it does. Level 111. I really should read these things. Okay, so... Looks like we got a big heavy vehicle this time. We're gonna have to get this guy over. So let's turn on the grid again because I think we're gonna need this. So we're gonna have to just build something really strong for this one because I guess this guy is gonna be extremely heavy. So let's go ahead and turn the grid off again because I prefer building without it. So let's go do that. So we got this lovely bow shape now. I think bow means strength. I assume my brain tells me it means strength. Okay, we're over budget, so we're gonna have to tighten this up just a bit. Um, there we go, it should be fairly straightforward. Um, okay, let's give that a try. Let's just see how this goes anyway. We might need an extra one in the middle here. No, it seems to be good, perfect. Perfect, okay. We're, okay, we seem to have completely lost it there. Back down to 16,700. Um, not seeing any posh people, so I guess they're maybe still up at the top, but I don't know how you could make that one any better. Like, I guess you could tighten things up a bit, but we did have a lot of uh, strain in the middle. I don't know, I don't know. Let's, we can always come back to that another time, but I just want to continue on getting past the easy levels. So, okay, we got A1 and A2. So this one should be fairly standard. Let's turn the grid back on because we want it for this bit. Um, yeah, we don't need to do any fancy hydraulics here. We got pivot points here. Let's do a quick test to see how that one holds up. Oh, okay, not the, not the best of tests. It looked like it was sturdy anyway, so we can come back to that one. This one's obviously gonna be a bit harder because it's longer, so maybe we will need the steel. Um, I feel like that's a waste of money there because I don't feel like it's gonna add too much to this. Uh, Let's just see what happens anyway. I feel like I've done something horribly wrong. Yeah, okay, that's probably why. Um, can I just strengthen this? Or is that just not gonna work? I mean, it does work. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. So yeah, we're gonna have to take the steel probably. Let's delete the whole of this top half because I think this is gonna work best if it's underneath. So if I just go ahead and build a kind of sort of structure here, we just do something like this along there and we connect these, then I can put the steel onto this. And the steel should be shorter, so it should be a bit cheaper. In fact, the shorter the steel, the cheaper it is. And wood's probably, yeah, like if you look at the, the price up at the very top, if I shorten the steel, even though we're lengthening the wood, we're actually still getting a lot more for our money because steel is expensive. So we can potentially do that. Let's see how that goes. We can, again, do the archway here. This might work. Could potentially take this a bit shorter and see how that goes. Right, is this gonna work? Yeah, that looks pretty strong. Okay, the top bit's perfect. Um, I think we just need to strengthen this. Wondering if we can do something with that. Probably not. Let's just try making this a bit bigger first. Um, yeah, let's see how that goes. This is quite a long one as well. Ooh. Okay, it was the top one that went before. That was really interesting because I hadn't actually changed this. I wonder, let's try it one more time just to see how that goes. Yeah, I didn't make any changes to the top one then and it didn't seem to like that. 
Ah, uh, that's really interesting. So it's probably the game mechanics. I'm, I guess like it's a physics engine and it's probably an integrator. So it's actually integrating these equations of motion over time. And I guess when you change, maybe it does something with the pivots. Maybe if you have, maybe it thinks this is connected to this. So it's treats the two as one. I mean, that's really interesting. Um, Okay, let's try let's try something new. Let's try taking all this out and let's try doing this from overhead instead. Okay, I have good feelings about this. I have very good feelings about this. Or do I? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See what happens. Oh. <laughs> um what happened then? I think it pulled the weight of the bottom one pulled the top one apart first. So that's obviously not the right thing to do. Um, let's take this out. Uh, I wonder if we could just if we just change the direction that we're pulling on that pivot. Maybe that's enough to make the game think that it's fine. I mean, I don't know if this is me being an idiot or if this is the game mechanics not quite behaving themselves. Um, let's see what happens. I feel like this is probably not going to work, but let's find out. It looks not too bad. Uh, oh, yes, we did it. We did it. We did it. And we are way under budget. We did fantastic. Where are we going to be in the scoreboard? It's quite slow. Let's see, where are we going to be? Come on. This is, ah, oh, the anticipation. The anticipation. Why aren't you loading? I mean, we're probably not going to be the best because this isn't up at 100%. So come on, why aren't you loading? I want to know where we got. Is my internet gone down? Like, oh, come on, come on. Why aren't you loading? I guess we'll never know. We will never know where I came. I think we can only assume that I came first place though, because I mean, this is just perfect. Look, we are pretty much half the budget we were assigned. I think I'm gonna wait a while just in case this decides to load or maybe I can redo it. Maybe redoing it works. I don't know, I don't know, let's redo it. Hopefully it will actually work this time. I don't know why that didn't load though. But yeah, I can only presume I'm first place. Mm, almost. I mean, it's close enough to first place. Not bad. Out of the thousands of people that play this, I think we're doing pretty good. See who else we have near us. Um. Oh, this does actually show us who's in first. Right, Count Shagula, I bet you're feeling pretty good about yourself. How on earth did you manage to do that in 7,000? Like, can you see what these people's designs were? How is that even possible? Like, maybe they did it without steel. Yeah, they must have done it without steel because steel is expensive. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Well, unfortunately, that looks like we've completely run over time on this one, but you know what? I'm having so much fun. I could easily stay up all night playing this game. I really love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this though. And as always, if you did, then please do leave it a like. And if you haven't already, then please do subscribe. I've been Eli. Thanks for watching.